What are you doing? Is this a trick question? No eating in the treehouse. It has to be clean. Mrs. O is coming by in 15 minutes to grade us. She's our club sponsor now. I'm pretty sure she just wants to check in. We need to impress her. Well, do you think she'll be impressed by my new desk? Oh, that's sweet, man. No time for sweet. We have three big cases to work. Three? I'll take this one. Evan, you take that one. And this one is Ellie's. She's not even here. Yeah, she's at the chocolate festival. She's cosplaying as a truffle this year. Chocolate! I'm working on is super important, Mrs. O. So important, the real police are thinking about getting involved. My dad told me. Well, I'm excited to see our detective process. Great, here's what I've got. Someone has been going around breaking windows. They broke three on the same block, and no one knows how they did it. Mysterious. And we have a deadline to figure it out. In one hour, the police are going to start investigating, and I won't be allowed to anymore. But just think, what if I can figure out who did it before they start investigating? It was probably nobody. Thanks for the not help. Now, for our other cases. Evan? Evan! Oh. <laughs> That'll be fine, probably. Farmer Jeffers says he discovered some burn crops on his land yesterday. Yes, and? And he saw some mysterious dust. Yes, and? And he saw a bright flashing light from the sky. Oh. It has to be a gigantic flying pirate ship. Evan, this isn't Peter Pan. Duford, if you want to fly, you gotta believe. Now for our third case. There was a disturbance at the animal shelter last night. All the animals got scared at the exact same time. Ellie is there investigating right now. Ellie, are you there? I am so here. I've never had this much chocolate in my life. You're not at the animal shelter? I almost forgot. I'll go there right after I finish this jumbo double chocolate milkshake. Ah, uh, she forgot. What a surprise. What about Duford? What's he investigating? Nothing. Actually, I just got a case that's perfect for Duford. You want me to investigate a rock? Figure out where it came from. The ground. Done. Ha ha, very funny. Erica from our class sent it in. She said it's not like any other rock from around here. So, investigate. Heavy. Mr. Duane, where were you the morning of October 4th? On the ground. A likely story. It says here you were found in the middle of a field. Is it normal for rocks to be found in the middle of a field? Oh, oh no. How could no one have seen this coming? You mean I've been wasting my time on a pointless case? That's right, Duford. But I have a special story. I'm a rock from space. Ooh. If you're not going to take this seriously, I'm and I the one not taking this seriously. I'm so sorry, Mrs. O. I promise the rest of us are serious detectives. Please don't mark us down because of him. Kira, you're not being graded for this. That's no excuse to do anything less than our very best. Unless you don't have arms or legs like me. I can't move by myself unless I fall from the sky. I'm going to go talk to the neighbors, see if they saw anything. They didn't. At least I'm doing something. I only have 20 minutes before the police start investigating the broken windows. Uh, Kira, have you considered that it might have been an animal that broke the windows? Maybe you could ask around. Um, Evan? I can't solve this. 
No one has a motive to burn Mr. Jeffers' crops, and I cannot find a reason for the light that he saw. There were no planes flying over our town last night, and it wasn't a weather balloon. Well, maybe the light came from space. No, the light was closer than any star could have been. Unless you mean... That's right, it's a... Uh... Aliens! I have to go to Mr. Jeffers. That's not what I meant. Aliens? For the record, that's not my fault. Right. Duford, I wanted to ask, how do you feel about Detective Squad 214? Fine. Just great. You don't sound like you think it's great. Well, who cares what I think? Evan and Kira both just think I'm a clown that doesn't know anything, and neither of them have even bothered to ask what I think. What do you think? I miss having this treehouse to myself. If I help them solve cases like this, there'll just be more. More noise, more Kira telling me what to do. I think I know someone you might relate to. Yeah? Who? David, from the Bible, when he was probably about your age. David was a normal kid. He had a family with seven older brothers. Since David was the youngest, his brothers made him do the jobs they didn't want to do, like watching the sheep. One day, while David was out watching the sheep, a prophet named Samuel visited David's family. God had told Samuel that someone in this family was going to be the new king. All David's older brothers went to meet Samuel, but they left David watching the sheep. I know how you must feel, David. You get the most boring, least cool job to do. David's brothers were all older than him and stronger. From the outside, they all looked like they could be great kings. When Samuel looked at each of the older brothers, he thought, this has to be the one. But God told Samuel, people look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at what is in the heart. God knows what's inside us, things we think and feel. Samuel asked if there were any other brothers. So finally, they called David in from watching the sheep. And God said, this is the one. Samuel anointed David, which means he poured oil on David's head, like they would for a king back then. Sweet. So David's king now? Well, not quite yet. You see, there was already a king, King Saul. He was angry and jealous. And in a crazy twist, he asked for someone to come and play music for him. And they brought... David. So David had to work for the other king? Mm -hmm. Even though he was supposed to have his job? How could he even stand that? I think David knew God is good. And because God is good, David could trust him. David did become king later, but he had a long road to travel before that happened. But God knew who David was right in the beginning. Huh. Cool, I guess. What does that have to do with me, though? Well, God knows what we want. He knows our future. God sees the amazing potential you have, Duford. He sees what's inside. What's inside? Okay, Mrs. O, I need to tell you something. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, it's metallic. This isn't just a rock, it's a meteorite. Dwayne here told me everything. You've been hinting all morning that the rock came from outer space. You knew it was a meteorite all along. And I would have told the others too if they had just asked. But no, Duford must be lazy. He couldn't have solved all four cases at once. Solved all four? Oh, this does explain that the broken windows, the animals, the crops. Oh. You're gonna make me tell Kira, aren't you? That isn't up to me. But I think there's something good inside you that knows what to do. So if I can make some alien noises, maybe they'll hear me and come flying over. Like this. This is hopeless. I have no leads. I only have 10 minutes before the police take my case. And Ellie got her walkie button stuck down with chocolate. Yeah. The rock is a meteorite. 
It's what? what? It fell from space. And one of this size would have made quite an impact. Maybe enough to startle the animals at the shelter. Enough to break some windows. I think so. I'm not an expert, but yes. I admit it. It was me. I did it. Erica said she found me in a field, right? Oh, so what if Thousa burned the crops in Mr. Jeffers' field? I need to go tell the neighborhood what happened. And Duford, good job. Yeah, I have to tell Mr. Jeffers that it wasn't aliens and take down my radio antenna. I think that was wise. Next time they should ask me for my help. Media rights can be extremely valuable. I'm going to return this to Farmer Jeffers since it was found on his farm, but God's got a plan for you. And that plan is good. Thanks, Mrs. O.